Rostilav Rorohovsky on the line, the Ukrainian driver feeling confident. Gets the thumbs up and away he goes off the line. So, Rostilav Rorohovsky, aggressive flick, maybe a little too early. And you can see now heavy use of that left foot brake, working his way into outside zone three. Getting the job done. Does slow that car down quite a bit on the foot brake. Judge, if we take a look at this one, transitions back. Outside zone four. Nice line. Nice commitment from Rusty Lavarovsky now. Looks for the wall. Will he go wide? Doesn't. Keeps it clean. Doesn't want to risk anything on these qualifying runs. Everything to play for with these 49 drivers. Shallow on outside zone six. As he now looks for transition back for seven. And again, shallow once again as Rusty Lev gets the job done. Car number 12, the UAE driver. As I say, dropped off, dropped out. Can he get it back together again? Cones down, but that doesn't matter. Here he goes. Big initiation for Said Ahmed, and it is a 180 SX. Lovely line into outside zone two. Needs to hold on to it, though. A little dab of the handbrake and foot brake there in that. Drag into the outside zone. Judges will be looking at that one, but he needs to improve. He needs to put more points on the board, and Big angle thrown on towards the wall, gets the transitions done into outside zone four, full throttle, full commitment, but he's way shallow. I'm going to transition into outside zone five, gets it done. He's blinded by his own smoke there as he gets a nice-ish line into outside zone six. A little tentative, waits for the transition for outside zone seven, dials the angle on and across the line. Ian Biz Phillips from the UK on the line now. The business. Magnuson supercharged Chevrolet V8 underneath the bonnet of this Nissan 350Z. Full throttle into outside zone two goes Phillips. Nice use of the handbrake there. See the way he tried to get that car set up nicely for outside zone three. Waited and waited and waited. Got it into outside zone three. Back on the throttle he goes. Good transition to four. Maybe a little early but makes it work for Ian Phillips. And Phillips really exploring the setup on this 350Z over the course of the last week. Trying to... Dial more grip in, trying to get this car to work the best it can. Very nice line into outside zone six. Full throttle commitment from Phillips. Oh, a little stall up there, but still makes it work. Has Ian been toned down or a little adjustment on the circuit? Maybe some debris. There we go. Thumbs up once again. All clear to send for Clint Van Ort. So, what has he got? What could he do? Nice initiation, very wide, right to the edge of the circuit. Full throttle from Clint Van Ort. On and off the throttle, a little dab of the foot brake. Nice line. Oh! showed so much potential into outside zone three and just couldn't make it there as Clint Van Ort now looks for the transition bag you see that front wheel fully logged up there as he went into that transition little work in that foot brake through the outside zone nice line now looks for a good transition a little early as you can see comes away from the outside edge of the circuit on outside zone five nice transition to six Final one coming up for Klim Van Oort, the Dutch driver, trying to get himself up AKA the air. He missed a swap by mine, a man that has helped out more drivers in the paddock than I care to think about. Constantly offering the uses of his workshop and services. Wow! Look at the initiation from Re from Rafa. No messing around, but then makes a big error coming to outside zone three. Does fall out of outside zone three a little early now. Can he tidy this one up? Gets to outside zone four. Both rear wheels in to that zone. Nice tidy line. Shallows up the angle. Looks for the transition for outside zone five. Gets it done. And Rafa wide on outside zone six. Does manage to pull it back onto the circuit again. A few arrows creeping into this one. We do not have many other drivers. We have a few drivers out of competition, but not many. As we now see Lalu leave the line. Through the gears, hammers down, does Lalu. Working away at that steering wheel, looks for that wide line to outside zone two and three. I think he just caught a wheel on two and he's now just made his way into outside zone three. Not lacking any commitment, but just lacking that little bit of flair, that little bit of an exclamation mark for the judges. Needs to prove to them he's got what it takes to score a little higher a 67.7 is enough to get him into the show sits in 23rd at the moment there's uh, Ali Al Belushi and across the line he goes for the score there as we see Abu Falah in this V8 powered S14
And again, similar trend coming from some of these lower ranked drivers in qualifying. This is in uh, championship order now, so we are looking at the guys that are the bottom end of our championship at the moment. And these guys trying their best to put on a show and get something done in qualifying. Gets the thumbs up, and off the line comes Riyad al Mubsali. So we go through the gears, big aggression, big flick, nice and wide. Look at that, look at the tyre pressures, hardly anything in it. He's even got valves in the tyres. Mubsali on an absolute flyer, this one incredible. I said this young man had been progressing since the first ever time I come to Oman, and now he starts to put on a show. The Amani National not messing around, looks for outside zone four, gets there, flirts with danger, one wheel on that white line. Can he stick with it the whole way? Certainly can. Keeps it on the circuit. Nice transition. Look at the way he gets that done. Nice big flick across the track. Outside zone six. Completely fulfilled as Riyad Al Mubsali now puts foot to floor. Looks for the final outside zone. Gets there. Job done across the line. Chevrolet V8 underneath the bonnet of this Nissan 200SX S13. Slots the car into gear and away he goes. Tarek El Shahani looking to run the wall. Right the way down the back end of the circuit again. Nice initiation. Look at the tyre pressures. The wheel's almost on the tarmac. A little waver and a wobble, but he gets it done. Nice line into three. A little unorthodox and not as clean as what we see from Lipsky, but nevertheless, starting to make it work. Back on throttle he goes. Will he go for a wall run or will he keep it clean again? Another driver keeping it clean. No messing around. Business. These guys mean business. Stalls up a little bit there into outside zone six. It does affect his line now. He's going to have to dial the angle on to get the transition back into outside zone seven. Across the line. The Burtons now will be desperate to score high in qualifying to try and claim as many points as he can in his bag. The Monster Energy Latvian driver off of the line. A nice initiation from Nicolas Bertans. He is always pinpoint perfect. That line into outside zone two and three was textbook from Nicolas Bertans, but a little stall up on throttle there. He had to think about it, get back onto the throttle again. Nice transition, not as deep into outside zone four as we've seen from some of our top qualifiers at the moment. As he fires back across the circuit again, nice line into outside zone five. Nicolas Bertans again, shallow, takes a weird line through six. Looks for the move back into outside zone seven. Job done. So, Bagsy through the chicane, looking for a high score here. Wow, nice initiation, super wide on outside zone one. A nice line into outside zone two. Little use of the foot brake there, as he gets an incredible line into outside zone three. Does slow the car down quite a bit there, though, and, sh and plays with the angle as he looks to transition back for outside zone four. Nice line, though, as he gets it done, gets the wheel right to the edge of the circuit. Bagsy going to go for the wall run. He certainly does. Just flexes the back end of the spoiler on the wall. Nice line into five. Very, very tidy. Now, can he make it deep into six? He certainly can. Flirts with danger right to the edge of the circuit as Bagsy transitions back for seven. Midline through seven and across. So waiting for the smoke to clear on the circuit if you're wondering what the hold-up is in the action. And here we go. Off the line. Hussain Muscle Mar Marni. Lebanon represented through the gears. And forget, inside that top 10, beautiful initiation, right to the edge of the circuit, wheel over that line, rewarded for that, not deducted for it, and wow, and a beautiful line again into outside zone three, on the foot brake, right on the edge of the circuit. And so Hussain Masulmani, not muscling around anymore, muscling his way into the competition. Wow, this is clinical from Hussain Masulmani. Can he hold it together? He can, right to the wall. Looks for the transition back. He's got this track absolutely dialed. Look at the line he's taking into outside zone six. Not as deep as we'd hope he'd be, but he does make it. Though. He does fulfill it. Outside zone seven coming up, and he absolutely smashes it. Across the line. Third in the championship. All to play for. Angry Alan Hines. Through the gate he comes. Big flick. Big initiation, but not as deep as we'd like to see him. Anything right now, though, will keep Alan Hines in the show. He goes very wide into outside zone three. Look at that line. Absolutely textbook as he takes it right to the white line, right to the wall. Flicks it across the circuit. Nice transition from Hines as he gets into outside zone four. Just about holds it in that zone as he then pushes wide once again. Looks for the transition back. Hines was on point. Uh, this round just a week ago 
Well, it doesn't look like he's got enough in the tank this weekend to top qualifying as Alan Hines takes it to the line and gets the run done. He is now, needs to improve. Needs to try and make this run. One for the history books. Well, here we go through the chicane. Big initiation from De Ham. All the way out to outside zone one. Wheel off the tarmac. Beautiful line into outside zone three. Wheel dropped over the edge of the circuit, but he makes it work now as De Ham takes it to the edge of the track. Good transition back. Very nicely done for Ahmed De Ham. This is this is could be the one to ch to challenge. Nasser at, the top, Nasser at the top there, nice line into outside zone five, a little too much angle dialed on, but he shallows it up and makes it work as the hand gets to outside zone six, dances across the circuit, right on the edge of the track, across the line, and Dahan shakes his head with a little smile on his face as Ali Maxeed, one of the fastest men around the circuit, not finding any fortune around one can he get some redemption off the line 2jz power Toyota gt86 through the gears comes max seed nice initiation a little shallow nevertheless he has got the speed he has got the pace look how fast he moves through the circuit incredible line into outside zone three right to the edge of the circuit wow max seed not messing around said he wanted some redemption and he's definitely coming for a little waiver on the steering wheel there but nevertheless stays in outside zone four right to the edge of the circuit good transition back into outside zone five, a little shallow once again, not as deep as a judge would like to see him. Six now, a little bit of a struggle, not as deep. One last outside zone to go for Ali Maxeed as he fulfilled. I mentioned it earlier, a few drag racers out there. Check out the zoomies out the front bumper. Very inventive from Ahmed Al Amri, the Amani National. Well, here we go. 88.3. I think he's comfortable enough. He's definitely going to push himself, that's for sure. Ahmed Al Amri. Very nice line. Wow, that's beautiful into outside zone three. So nice. Exactly what the judges want to see. Wow. Ahmed Al Amri is really pushing himself this weekend. As Al Amri already six in sixth place. Wow, right to the wall for Ahmed Al Amri. Oh, and a little shallow on five. It could have been textbook for Ahmed Al Amri. And that comes him up a little bit short on outside zone six. Works into seven across the line, and these Benedictas Cherba. We do lose Dimitro Jivorinok. Unfortunately, that will be a zero for him. So Benedictas Cherba on the line, thumbs up. This man means business. A mistake at round one cost him a spot in the final four. Made contact with Edgar Cogueres, knocked himself out of competition. So here we go off the line. Benedictas Cherba from Lithuania. Fires that car in, absolute full throttle commitment from Cherba. Wow, what a line into outside zone three. Look at that little dab of the handbrake. Sets that car up on the footbrake, goes for the wide line. And Cherba, cool, calm and collected as he transitions across the circuit. A little gripped up, you can see that car didn't want to react, didn't want to wash as wide into outside zone four. But nevertheless, gets the job done as Cherba fires across the circuit to outside zone five. Very, very nicely done for Cherba. Very deep into outside zone six. This one has big potential. Fires it on angle and he sacrifices the line. He can for round two. That's Seymour Lipsky off of the line. So off the line to JZ screaming as he flicks that car in. Nice initiation. Goes for the edge of the circuit. Very good line into outside zone two. Yeah, he's on form. Yeah, he is absolutely on form as a young Ukrainian driver. Oh, wow, looking to make a statement. Transitions back. Look at the line from Timo Livsky as he absolutely nails the throttle through the floor. Right to the wall as Livsky's not messing around. Fulfills outside zone five. This has to be your top qualifier. A little lazy on outside zone six there. Falls away a little soon. Goes for the transition back. Outside zone seven, though, right to the edge of the circuit. 74 for him. Down in 19th place at the moment. He'll be happy to get in the show. Miss Fortune here before on the mom. Can he progress? Can he improve? Nice big flick to initiation. Full throttle now as he makes his way through that free wheel motion coming into play again. Look at the way that car pivots across the axles. Nice line for outside zone three. You can see the way he stares down the circuit looking for outside zone four. As Andreas Vasiliaskas makes his way through, up to the wall, clinically done, technical as always from Vasiliaskas, calculated as he's into six, nice line, flirts with danger on that yellow line, transitions for seven, very fast, right to the edge of the circuit, Vasiliaskas, the El Salvador driver, 
said to me this morning in the hotel that he's either going to come home with a trophy or go home with no car. Well, let's see what he's going to do. Nice initiation from Al Harbali. Very nice line into outside zone three. You can see him on that foot break. The judges, as I keep saying, will be looking at every single move they make. That is an incredible line for Nasir there as he transitions into outside zone four. Very, very nice. And needs to be careful here and play this one so very tidy up towards the wall. Good transition back into outside zone five. Full throttle commitment now into outside zone six. Gets it done. Wow, nice transition coming up. If he can join this one, get this job done, he certainly can. Wow, incredible run there from Nasir.